Welcome, everybody, for week one of the Draft Premier League, the DPL. We are Wigglytuff's Guild. I'll be representing us recording videos from our games. And here we have our game one from week one, which is going to see Hunter facing off against Ethan, one of the captains of Legion of Boom. We are in the desert because we need to uh, add some water here. We need to settle this drought with some rain. That's right. We drafted Swish Rain. Now, these videos are going to be quite short. They're going to be like five to six minutes at most. I'm just going to be covering teammates replays and going over them and uh, they're going to be in fast mode and I'm going to be pausing when necessary, but that's essentially what's going to happen. We're just going to be looking at all the games for the week for the guild and we're going to end it off with mine probably on Sunday. Could be a different day of the week. We'll see. It depends on, on how things play out, but most of the time it will be the last match you see will be mine and I'm going to try to live comment as well. So. Here we go, let's hop right into this game. So we will see Hunter lead off with Ferrothorn into the Mew. Now the Mew could be threatening a fire move, so Hunter switches out into Pelipper immediately, catches a Thunder Wave, now knows that Ferrothorn is probably a little bit safer, so switches back in as Mew gets up rocks and then proceeds to T-Wave the Ferrothorn as well. We get up rocks as well, and then Skuntank comes in as we get full parried. So unfortunate there that we do get fully paralyzed, but uh, it happens, and then the Skuntank proceeds to go for Sunny Day, resetting our rain, and then uh, we get Parrot again. So now we're forced out into Seismitoad. We take 42 from a Dark Pulse, and we go for the Rain Dance, manually setting it up for the Seismitoad itself to be able to weatherball the Zapdos and trade with it as it Brave Birds into our Seismitoad. So down go one Mon on each side. In comes Barrascuta, and we are going to go for the flip turn here as Azu comes in, takes 36%, and we're going to proceed to go into to Dracovish, and the Azu this turn goes for Endure. Now, if this is not the most obvious Custap Berry of all time, I don't know what it is. So we're gonna switch out into Ferrothorn here as the Azu knocks us off, gets rid of our lagging tail, uh, as you can see there, and ends up at 3%. Uh, now, just a, a heads up here, I'm not gonna reveal like what our prep is. Basically, you're only gonna see things that happen in the battle. I'm not gonna mention moves, items, uh, anything that was not revealed in the battle because we don't wanna give it anything away, of course. So we get our lagging tail knocked off, and uh, Azu is now at 3%, switches out here back into the Skun Tank. We Leech Seed, which is what we wanted to do earlier when we got fully parried, and uh, now we're going to be able to pull off uh, a safer switch into Sableye here on Fire Blast. However, we are Eject Button and get forced out right back into Dracovish here, and uh, as a result, the Skun Tank is going to switch out, sack the Azu here, the Latios is going to come in, and we're going to switch into Ferrothorn, catch an Aura Sphere, take a considerable amount of damage there, 50%, and uh, Hunter actually doubles into Pelipper here. I'm guessing, assuming that the Latios was choiced in some fashion and that Aura Sphere wouldn't do that much damage. So Pelipper comes in, catches a Dark Pulse, unfortunately gets flinched here. Uh, we obviously could have knocked out the Skun Tank. We could have uh, potentially gone for like a U-turn if we had it, right? So a lot of different options there, but we do get flinched. Uh, and now Dracovish uh, switches in on the Dark Pulse. Only takes 34% though, so it's it's fine and uh, we're able to knock out the Mew with a crit on the crack back uh, now the Latios comes back in goes for a thunder knocks us out that's fine we're gonna go into Barrascuta and we're gonna go for another flip turn here I believe and the Skun Tank comes in uh, and is Aftermath and Rocky Helmet so that is going to of course uh, weaken us severely now Ferrothorn comes back in it's probably the best thing to bring into uh, Weavile and Latios Weavile comes in goes for a knockoff here and knocks out the Ferrothorn which is at 22 and it actually takes Life Orb chip there, as you can see. So Weavile is Life Orb. And that means that because our Sableye is knocked off, um, Knock Off should do less, right? It does like 65 base power instead of 97.5. Uh, however, had Ethan calced his Weavile into our Sableye, he would have known that Knock Off into Ice Shard here would have taken us out despite Recover this turn. So, um, but he doesn't do that. Instead, he switches out into Latios as we go for a recover. Our rain ends, meaning we can sack Pelipper, get it back up for the last time, eight turns remaining. We go into Barrascuta, knock out the Latios with a liquidation, and then the Weavile comes back in and fakes us out, uh, as it is carrying fake out on this set. And then our Sableye comes back in, but Weavile's at 19%, has to take a life orb hit regardless, 
Click's knockoff, as you can see, it did 69% right there, uh, which means that knock into Ice Shard is an easy KO. But instead, we get off a Nightshade and we're able to clear the Weavile and win game one of week one of the DPL against Legion of Boom. Uh, Legion of Boom's captain, in fact, Ethan Toxic, uh, somebody that I've known for quite a while. But uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be game one. That's pretty much it. And we'll see how the rest of our games go. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if this is your first time here or otherwise, you're not going to want to miss any of this action. Game two will be out tomorrow. See ya.